This is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and here I am with another jewelry jar. Oh, here's some pieces that have fallen off of something. Okay, so here's a couple of pieces of caged pearls. Um, I don't know what they came off of. I don't see any earrings that go with them, but they might have just come off of of a uh, of a uh, an ear wire somewhere. So those are matching at least, could be repurposed. Here's a couple of interesting earrings. Disco balls! These are pierced earrings. They got the backs. They're plastic. They're lightweight. They're fun. So, lots of fun. Another pair of earrings. So that's, well here's a ring. Oh, this was a, oh look at that. That's kind of cute. It's a little small. I can't wear it on that finger, but I could wear it here. So look at that. Two sizes of uh, kind of a greeny colored. Uh, I don't know if it can focus any better than that. Kind of a greeny colored uh, sort of oh, a flower. And then the little. So this could probably be resized if you sort of squished it the right directions. So a second ring. We'll put it with that ring. Um, oh, found a pair of earrings. One, one is in a bag. Maybe they were both together at one point. Oh, these are pretty. These are quite pretty, sort of a purpley color. They would go nicely with this, uh, oh, sorry, I'm off camera. These would all go nicely together as a set. Doesn't, doesn't, don't they look like they match? Certainly do to me. So a pair of earrings, no marking. An excellent shape, but doesn't look like they've been worn much. And a matching bracelet. That's a different kind of a set. Um, maybe I'll put them up here. Bracelet and earrings. I'm sure I can find somebody to gift those to. People in my family are getting used to this. Um, another pair of earrings. Um, tarnished. Interesting. The tarnish. The type of, the amount of tarnish, the color of the tarnish, see this bluish color on the back, makes me think of silver, maybe silver plated. Let me look and see if there's any markings. I don't see anything, but let me just put one down there and bring one up here. So I think these will clean up nicely to wear. They don't, they're not scratched on the front here, which is really unusual. Um, I'm sure some, somebody would be interested in that pair of earrings. Here's another pair of earrings. Oh, these are quite stylish. These are uh, very wearable, modern earrings. Um, the backs are all there. There's no marking on the back. Very nice little pair of earrings. And I think, I think this is part of that uh, broken chain. Sure looks like this matches into there, so we're getting some more pieces of that. And I have some, some more single earrings down there. Okay, let's, oh, oh, I hope this has got an end on it. Look at this. I got a package of, uh, oh, a huge package of wire and I don't no it's not memory wire I don't it's but someone was making a bracelet and here's the bracelet they were making pretty sure this is not memory I mean it's staying there but I think I don't want to crinkle it like but I think I'm strong enough to bend it so I think it's just some wire maybe some craft wire there's no uh Quite a large package here. There's no label or anything. Okay, now I got it stuck to my cloth. There we go. So there's some nice beads. They're um, cold, so they're most maybe the pearls aren't pearls don't seem to be, but they're mostly glass beads. Very attractive. So some more supply jewelry supplies to repurpose. So I was glad I picked this for the reason I picked it. Oh, here's a nice little bag, a chiffon bag. And in it is a bracelet or a bangle, and it says daughter. 
strong, thoughtful, love, patient, trusting, selfless, caring. Well, that's very nice. I wonder if one end of them, oh. The ends don't, sometimes the ends of these um, unscrew so you can add more pieces to it. But that's a beautiful daughter bracelet in the copper, or copper color. I didn't bring a magnet to check to see if it's fully copper. So there's a beautiful bracelet. Here's another piece, a pendant to go with the uh, earrings and the bracelet. That's cool. I don't see a chain, but hey, now I don't know if the ends, no, these don't come off. No, so just need to, to find the appropriate chain for that. Oh, okay, some more. We're getting down into the nitty gritty, I think, of the jewelry supplies. So I'm going to pull this bag out. Here's a bag of wire. It's sealed. I, I'll have to figure out if it's memory wire. Uh, I haven't seen wire packaged in this way before. So, very interesting. I do uh, lots of work with kids for making jewelry, so, you know, wire's a good thing. Here's uh, a ring, <laughs> I guess. I've never seen a ring quite like that. Fits that finger. It's uh, those nice polished, uh, fire polished. Oh, these are bicones. Well, those are bicones, and then these are rounds. And then these are like little... I don't know. It might be metal. So an interesting ring. I'm no idea if it's handmade or not. But I've never quite seen anything like that before. Here is a macrame bracelet with some howlite and uh, who knows what these little white stones are, but that's definitely dyed howlite, dyed highlight. And, oh, it's just meant to somehow pull through a knot. That's not the best kind of uh, a way to finish a bracelet. This is like waxed uh, sinew or something, or it might be faux sinew. Very small bracelet. So, uh, certainly I don't think it would fit out. Well, it would tie onto my wrist, but it certainly do better for uh, someone with a much smaller wrist. I was going to say younger person, but there's lots of women my age who have like, smaller wrists. So there's a, a very nice bracelet. doesn't look like it's been worn. It's certainly by the ends here. It doesn't look like it's been worn or tied off. So maybe new. This is, this is an I don't know. This looks like a broken lariat necklace where this would hang down and then the other side would come around your neck and meet up with this and hang down so oh well uh, it might be good in a wind chime it's good heavy weight Put the broken pieces together here is a spoon okay I've never found a spoon before in a jewelry jar it's a good, interesting scoop it's kind of let me just see if it polishes up at all. Oh, you can see it's polishing up. Um, but there's some corrosion. It's probably aluminum. I don't know where it would have come from or what it would have been used for. Can go in the dollhouse supplies. Here is a package that is sealed. It's got a tag. Oh, it's uh, GANZ, G-A-N-Z. And what does it say? Cheek Duaga, New York, made in China. It's, I can't see if it's a bracelet or a necklace. All right, let's take it out and see what we got here. It is, hmm. What have we got here? I 
There's a peace dove. There's Oh, okay. So there's these funny little plastic connectors here and they're kind of confusing me, but I can see it's supposed to be a three strand bracelet. There's the three strands and then you use the lobster claw clasp and you go through the ring here and you have a bracelet. That's something I think I'll put away for a granddaughter or a niece or a grandniece. And uh, I don't think it's been worn or even considering how the tag's still on, I don't think. Unless you're on hee -haw, you wouldn't wear it with the tag in place. So there's another brand new piece, this. Oh. These are pin, watch pins, a whole bunch of them, and a couple of something or others. So, you know, those little pins that fit in, they, they sort of push in and out on the, I don't know if I'll put them in our, we have a watch band tin of stuff in case, you know, we need to repair Things. So that's where that'll go. Here comes a chain. Let's see. The chain that looks like it's just broken apart. Meant to be one piece, and it's become there. There's a little opening at the end of this here so that could probably be pried open and repaired or some kind of a connector found to repair it you know I don't mind finding repair things here's a little bag of uh, they almost look like crimp beads they're they're very a very wide whole bead. They look like crimp beads that you squash to keep a piece, a couple of pieces of wire together. Um, they don't look like regular beads. The holes are too big for regular beads of that size. Interesting. Um, okay, here's something. Uh, some shell pieces hanging from a goldy black colored ring and I don't see anything else that they could go with so they'll go in the bits and pieces pile um, finding some random beads here is a top half of a toggle clasp, a very fine chain with a big knot in it, and nothing else. I don't, oh, maybe there's the other half here. Well, here's another piece of matching chain, but it doesn't have the ring. Looks like it might have been a, a double, ah, who knows, broken. Yeah, repurpose pile. There's an interesting bit of chain, and it's not the only piece. Let's see what we can pull out of here. One. Hmm. I'm hoping that this... Oh, okay. So this side of the chain has this interesting um, little balls and oval rings that then join up with a station and then these chains here which look very much like these broken 
Looks same as these broken chains. So maybe this all belongs together as one. Um, and then there are this, this is kind of a station and I don't know if this is a, a special emblem of a company or not. Um, I might be able to get this untangled. If I'm gentle about it and don't break any more pieces that are already broken off. This is a, this part of, to me, is the very interesting chain because of the shape of it. See the sparkle? So I'm not sure how it all fits together. There's quite a bit of it. Three and then four pieces. So there's a little bit of a puzzle. If I get it uh, sorted out and put back together, I'll show it to you separately. And I still have a bunch of single earrings here. But I'm getting down into more jewelry supplies. Jewelry supplies. Whoops. <laughs> Gotta be careful with these. So here's some more of these uh, glass beads that I've been looking forward to getting out of there. The black ones. The champagne ones. Oh, this is on wire. Champagne and a... Uh, silvery gray on wire with oh with some interesting that's an interesting end piece everything's all tangled up looks like somebody repurposed some earrings or else this is a real bracelet and but it's all tangled up with these other beads so these champagne beads will come in handy and I'll probably take that all apart here is a something I saw. Bead landing, you know, Michael's supplies. Bead landing's a good name though. Crimp beads. Um, the crimp beads are on here. They just it's just been put together incorrectly. It goes. Oh, they're falling apart. Oh. Okay, I made the mess worse by trying to put it back together. I will um I have better containers for crimp beads. Let me just fix this up a little bit and then I'll show you. These are like what I thought those gold ones were. There we go. And again, these are size what? Oh, it doesn't say what size they are. Um, put that down there like that. There we go. Nickel-free crimp beads. I'll have to measure the size of the hole. But useful for jewelry making. Oh, uh, another pair of earrings has materialized. So these are... Uh, um, gold on... gold brushed gold on the front. Quite nice, actually. Black on the back. I like that pair of earrings. Nice movement to them. There's a little bit of scratching there, but that could... Oh, no, it's not scratching. It's some kind of fuzz. Okay. Maybe a little bit. Oh, those are very nice. Nice. Another nice pair of earrings. Usually you don't get that many nice pairs of earrings. Usually, I mean, I like vintage ones and that, but... Um, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now I have... Okay. Just bear with me. I'm pulling out this huge pile of huge pile of jewelry making beads. Look at them all. There's some ooh, these are nice fire polish here. Nice greens, reds, there's a bit of coral, um, some sort of teardrop shape, some more coral. These are kind of a a milky, beigey white, um, some larger champagne ones. Excellent. Some more uh, almost uh, Christmassy green, a ruby red, some larger red ones, and so this is yeah. This um, if we're to be, excuse me. If I were to have gone out to buy these individually, I couldn't have bought them for the price of the jar. Um, well, there's something pretty. 
Oh, it's on a chain. Looks like it's an earring that doesn't belong in that bunch. You see if there's any more earrings. There's some. Oh, there's something else in here that probably doesn't belong. Well, I'm not sure. It looks like another earring. I'm not sure I want to try to untangle it all. There's a part of it, some earrings. I'm certainly not going to untangle it on the camera, but there you can see there's a, a couple of earring wires, some uh, ball chain. Um, oh, here's probably the end of the earrings, but they're, they're well uh, tangled in there. So, oh, here's some multicolored uh, rounds, rondelles actually. And here we are back. Um, just sorting out the final little bits that came out of the jar. Here's a pair of earrings that are now matched up. Whoops. They're uh, nice sort of rainbow enamel. If I can get them both to hang nicely. There we go. Um, let me focus again. There we go. So nice little rainbow enamel earrings. A little cross pendant no markings on it um, a decent weight but probably just you know simple jewelry metal here's um, a different one of these type of things again I, there's odds and ends in them so I don't know what the original purpose was and then some Odds and sods of earrings. One of these earrings, pierced earring. Um, one of these, star with a little dangle. This one can certainly be repurposed by turning the post into a hoop. Um, a door knocker type earring, not marked. The brush gold on the one side is a little damaged. Mm, might be able to do something with that. One of these rings that can just can get tossed. A big suede type button earring, only one of those. This is um, usually meant for keeping a couple of strands of something together but whatever it went on has disappeared and it's got no connector or anything. Um, the rest are all just little oh there's a maybe there was a pair of pearl earrings because here's one pearl and there's a post but uh, and they're similar in size backings I don't see any markings so I don't see any markings but there's always a few odds and ends oh and I then there's this bag that I kind of push to the side and I don't know what it is it looks like fair trade jewelry that kind of metal um, hmm. Alrighty. Well, here's the clasp. Oh, is it up? What is it? I think something's not right here. I think this is not meant to be on there. Hmm. There we go. Well, that's kind of cute. Kind of like little bow ties. And it's a necklace and it Someone's gone on to all the done all the work of folding all that metal into these little pieces. I'm not there's that side. Oh, there's one's missing. Which side is the right side? Oh dear. I would suspect this is the right side because there's no um, line through there. And then it just has a lobster claw clasp and a hook somewhere in the chain back here. Oh, so that's a nice 
spot to end on. It's not a not a bad length. A very interesting little little necklace. So this is my um, this is my pile of all the jewelry stuff for things for making jewelry. I'm quite thrilled about that. And this is probably the best worth rescuing piece that needs the uh, clasp that goes in the mouth of the leopard. Um, so neat. A very interesting jewelry jar, I think. Let me know what you think. Thanks very much, and have a great day.